sequence Z, anything but with Corinne Almeida. We spoke to Corinne, the yogini, uh, the Corinne, the mother, the, the wife, the sister, the daughter. And now we talk to Corinne, the, I used to call her, I used to do, the sexiest woman in Sri Lankan showbiz. Are you? Wow, that's what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Corinne, without music, what would you have been or would be without music? Without music, I think I would have been in the hospitality industry. Now you talk a lot, so you still can. Yes, I talk a lot. <laughs> well, that's what you see too. That's what you hear. No, no, no. I mean, I, I like that uh, side of it. I mean, I worked also for a little okay. time in, at the uh, Hilton. I was a pioneer uh, at the then Oberoi, just uh, I think about a year. So why do you smooth? Away from I was doing music at the time too. Uh, very uh, interestingly, with when Atula Senanayake was the FNB manager there, Mr. Hans Howry was the first general manager, and then uh, Robert Kasi was the FNB. So I used to sing then too, but not as much as I do now. And then I used to go attend weddings there and then I have to go and get permission and then work. The yeah, it's funny. Work, uh, my shift work and then at night I used to perform. They gave me that. Same hotel. Same, same hotel, yeah. But Whoa. I don't know if they do it now. I, don't know I was that. one of those lucky ones, yeah. I guess. So music in your life began at home. Julian, Noeli, your parents. Yes. Family, the guitar. Yes. All that. Everything began at home and then we were um, kind of, I shouldn't say forced, we, we loved it too. But my dad, he was, you know, so much into it and he played the guitar and at evenings uh, we used to have this little family uh, fun time, chit chat and then the singing and the harmonies, we harmonized beautifully. So that is all, it, it, it all happened within, it, we never studied or we never went for classes or anything like that. School say. choirs? Did not really, not really. School choirs. I was doing a lot of drama in school. Not. You were still a very dramatic. <laughs> a drama queen. <laughs> <laughs> well, some people called me drama queen. I guess at one time, <laughs> I, I'm still. So you energy. are a self-taught or a trained singer? Self-taught. How did you teach yourself? I taught myself in the sense first when we were kids and when all of this singing happened, I realized and I could identify if I am singing a wrong note and pitching, not pitching correctly and um, then... Do you have perfect pitch? Perfect pitch you and perfect then... Pitch? perfect. Yeah, we okay. do have perfect pitch. I mean, sometimes uh, at live events, you know, when we have our various throat issues and all mm -hmm. that, when we cannot pitch. Mm -hmm. But the, the thing is to realize that you're not singing mm -hmm. on, on pitch. To steer, to know, to be, a, to know the fact that it, you you did didn't pitch there. So yeah, things happen. See your journey in music over the past say thirty years or thirty plus. Thirty, 30 plus, 30 years. plus years. Um, uh, is it lucrative? Can you can you live? Can you pay bills? Uh, can you have a family, earning that money? Well, I should say that I am one of those lucky mm. ones. I know. Uh, yeah. But average, what's it like? It's stuck, I don't right? see it happening that much. Yeah, people do get stuck a lot, and then they go into other businesses and other projects and all that. But I, I hope and pray that Sri Lanka will have this real big opening for our, you know, because we have a lot of young, um, very talented girls and boys today in our, you know, society who could do this super duper job well. But it's just that they haven't got that opening, they haven't got that, you know, push or whatever you want to call it. Uh, the recognition is not there. So they are on their own trying to come up. So having said that, do you think that musicians in Sri Lanka have got their rightful, respectful place in the local entertainment industry? Not really. Not really. Not, not, that for not, years. not not for years. Why? Not for all. But some of them, yes, it's it's also, I believe that it's the hard work that you put in. It's the dedication, commitment that you put in, which I don't see 
with some of the younger generation yeah. today. Now, you had no shortcuts, shortcuts in your life? No shortcuts whatsoever. Kattakagana kiruwa. kiruwa. But uh, I am so very happy that I did that because coming up the hard way is always a nice way to come up. Because then you know every, every nook and corner and every point where you can make it better or make, you know, switch. Now, you as today a senior musician, See, we all go up in, in age in layers. A whole lot of young ones have come in. Do their presence threaten your existence? Oh, no, not at all, not at all. Uh, in fact, I was uh, going through social media yesterday and uh, there was, I cannot remember her name, but she's on my friend list too. And she's a singer, I believe, because I've seen her singing at various places. And she's tagged me with one of my songs, with the famous Red the Hatte song. Mm. And I was honest to God thinking at that moment, wow. And I was thinking if some of these senior musicians, which we are in so many associations and we know these problems come up very often, that they don't want other people singing their songs. And I was, that thought went immediately and I was thinking, wow, if this happened to some of them, what would be their reaction to see this very girl tagging you won't like it. On your song, but I loved it. I loved it. And I have always said it on, on uh, interviews that, you know, whoever wants to sing, I don't have a big collection of songs, original songs, singular. <coughs> Red the Hat, how did that song happen? It happened uh, when I was, I realized that it's time for me to do my own music. And um, so I started producing, I mean, I started collecting the songs to produce this for CD. And then I requested everybody, and this was Rajiv's creation. And it was an instant, like a two-hour job that he did. Okay. When I met him at a wedding at the but Hilton. It was a hit. It was the hit. And that's song. your theme yes. song now. Yes. That's your theme song. So I mean, and especially being that that really hit song, somebody else, you know, singing it, I can imagine how someone else would have got so annoyed about it. But no, I say to you again, I've said it before, all the young ones, I don't have a big collection but you are most welcome to sing whatever songs of mine because even when I am not around, my songs will be still alive with all of you. That's being very generous. Corinne, your, your innumerable foreign tours. Um, you've forgotten your lines, you've got the wrong <laughs> pitch, you know, shit also happens on stage. Happens, it happens. Any, any mentionable stories like that? Um, no, I mean, not only me, it happens to a lot of people. I mean, it's just a part and parcel of a live performance. It's better than... How do you just go on? Oh, yeah, I, I, I can, I have that... Your uh, heel breaking, for example? Uh, how many? Not once, about three times now. Okay, and then? <laughs> heel breaking. But I still, you know, I, I wouldn't let the mic go off. The heel breaks, but I continue singing. Yeah, things like that. Um, so many things have happened, and uh, but the show must go on. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. You have never sung to your own tracks ever, as in lip syncing. No, I haven't lip synced. I have sung on for my tracks, but singing live. The voice. No, you singing to your same voice. No, but that also happens. It I happens a lot. It happens a lot. So how do how would audiences know unless it gets jammed? Uh, See you singing to a music track and you singing you lip syncing your own song. I would not know. I'm in the audience. Sometimes, I think now the audience is very wise and they mm -hmm. are very uh, knowledgeable about that. But before, they weren't so much. Somebody who knew music, yes, they knew. But the general audience wouldn't know. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't approve of it. Sure, yeah, I does. don't. But nobody, you can't say nobody does. A lot of people do. I, I know, I know. Yes, A lot of people yes, do approve yes. of it. That's why they yes. paid big bucks and they mm -hmm. hire these mm -hmm. people. To just come and do their thing and you know, well, for what? I am a singer. If you are offered a million bucks, would you sing no. to your own voice track? No, I no, am. I am. No. The money is good. No, I am a singer. I am not an actor. Ah. So this is my singing is my um, main source of living and income, and I respect that. God has given me a talent, and I use it properly well, in a proper way. So, Green. Uh, Performing to a live audience, a wedding or a show, whatever, out of Colombo, far away. How much of audience response and feedback 
enhances your own physical performance as a musician. See, flat audience, there's no give that thing, but they are, you know, that feedback. But Kumar, actually, for some reason, um, I've performed, I've been in the business for so long, I haven't had moments like that. My audience has always been, I have turned them around, turned them around and me, yeah, I mean, I don't know, I haven't really had audiences like sitting, not wanting to clap and staring and you know, I've seen it happen. But you move a lot. I move, I talk. Yes. I make, first of all, I make myself comfortable on I like stage. the video with the Osiria and you're pulling the thing up and <laughs> doing that. That was nice, so engaging yeah. the audience. Yeah, the thing is, uh, the, the trick there, I, in my opinion, I make myself comfortable first. Okay. On stage. Right. I mean, we all go through this moment of, uh, uh, you know, the few seconds of being a bit jittery and uh, this audience. Before it the comes. Plans. It yeah, comes. Yeah, it yeah. happens for, to everyone. But in that very instance, I switch off and just be myself. And then that whole stage, I make it mine. Okay. And I am comfortable. And that's when I start interacting with the crowd. And then they are all cheerful, they are all comfortable. Now, uh, this is January 2020, uh, New Year. Uh, you're on tour next month with Rajiv as he celebrates 30 years. Yes, next Where are you going? Week. We're Where starting in Dubai. Mm -hmm. um, the Peter Rides on the mat, they call it like a padru, English version of it. Oh, on the mat. <laughs> on the mat. <laughs> on the mat three, that's the third, oh, yeah. third dance. The, yeah, so we're starting in Dubai and Rajiv has invited me um, together with his band on a couple of other tours too. So I've given him some dates. Apart from that, I have my, my work where I'll be with Desmond in Paris on the 19th of uh, April. And I will be in Melbourne in July 18th, already confirmed. And there are few New Zealand, August 20th. A few of my solo events as well. So yeah, I love that. I love touring and I take it as a blessing, a whole big blessing. So it's a good year. It's a work plus holiday uh, trip for me. So. Every year has been good. What do you mean? It's a good year. <laughs> oh, it's a better year. <laughs> it's a better than year. Than last year, yes. the year before that. <laughs> yeah. The C, it's how you take it, Kuma. I used to think like that before. You think not about the year. You think about the day. You think about the minute that you and I am talking. It's good. It's beautiful. Past is gone. Yes, it is beautiful. Thank you, Corinne. Thank you so much. I have I, to get you to yes, I will come. come over. I, I did learn a lot, of, <laughs> a lot from you. Uh, good luck. Thank All you so much, Kumar. And, and it has uh, been nearly two years trying to get beyond this. This never happened. We got postponed for two bloody years. And, and for so many reasons, finally. but it did happen. Yes. And thank you so much to everybody. Yeah. God bless you all. Catch you again next week. Anything but with Kumar and Silva. www.pulse.lk and of course on YouTube. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To keep up with the Pulse of Sri Lanka, you can subscribe to our channel here. To catch our latest videos, you can click here and here. Keep living it.